Ricochet, wrestler. Trevor Mann, born October 11, 1988, better known by his ring name Ricochet, is an American professional wrestler, currently signed to WWE, where he performs on the Raw brand. Outside of WWE, Ricochet is known for his work in New Japan Pro Wrestling, NJPW, where he is a former three-time IWGP Junior Heavyweight Tag Team Champion and a three-time Never Openweight Six-Man Tag Team Champion and the winner of the 2014 Best of the Super Juniors and 2015 Super Junior Tag Tournaments. Other notable stints he had include, the Japanese Dragon Gate promotion and its American branch Dragon Gate USA, where he won various championships. He also wrestled as Prince Puma for Lucha Underground, where he was the inaugural and first ever two-time Lucha Underground champion. From 2010 to 2018, Mann wrestled for Pro Wrestling Gorilla PWG, where he is a former world champion, and a two-time Battle of Los Angeles Bola, winner, winning the 2014 and 2017 tournaments. Mann also worked for the Philadelphia Pennsylvania-based Shakara promotion, working under a mask as Helios. After signing with WWE in 2018, Ricochet beat Fabian Eichner in his debut match for NXT and later competed at NXT TakeOver, New Orleans for the NXT North American Championship, a title he would eventually win four months later at NXT TakeOver, Brooklyn 4. In February 2019, Ricochet started appearing on the main roster, making appearances on Raw and SmackDown Live. This led to him teaming with Aleister Black, winning the fourth annual Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic, and challenging for the Raw Tag Team Championship at Fastlane and the SmackDown Tag Team Championship at WrestleMania 35, before winning his first main roster title, the United States Championship, at Stomping Grounds. Professional Wrestling Career Early Career Trevor Mann started out in Chaos Pro Wrestling in 2003 under the ring name Ricochet, he began competing on the independent circuit until he made his first major outing on February 6, 2006 at Insanity Pro Wrestling's Sacrifice event, where he took part in a five-man elimination match involving future longtime rival Chuck Taylor, Die Hard, Tony Galloway, and Ty Blade. Ricochet was the final wrestler eliminated as Taylor pinned him to win the match. A few weeks later on February 18, Ricochet took part in his first major championship match as he, Chuck Taylor, Jeff Jameson, Brian Sterling and Cabana Man Dan took part in another five-man elimination match at Independent Wrestling Association Mid-South as Extreme Warfare event for the vacant Deep South Heavyweight Championship, which Cabana Man Dan won. A few months later at IWA Mid-South as event were no joke. On April 1st, Ricochet took part in a nine-man tables, ladders, and chairs match to determine the one contender for the light heavyweight championship, also involving his rival Chuck Taylor. Although he lost the match to Darren Corbin, he was involved in an infamous spot in which he performed his finishing move, a double rotation moonsault, off of a ladder to the outside of the ring and onto the other eight competitors. On that same day, Ricochet also competed at Insanity Pro Wrestling's event Mischief, Mayhem, and Revenge, where he lost to Taylor for the promotion's Junior Heavyweight Championship. Shakira Young Lions Cup Champion, 2006-2008 On June 24, Ricochet made his Shakira debut as he lost in the first round of the fourth Young Lions Cup tournament against Chuck Taylor. The following day, he teamed with player Uno in a losing effort to Taylor and Cloudy. A few months later on November 17 at the event Brick, Ricochet picked up his first win as a member of the Shakara roster after he, Cloudy and Mike Quackenbush defeated Cheech, Retail Dragon, and Shane Storm. The following day, Ricochet again lost to Taylor at the event Talent Boros, Genius Steals. On February 16, 2007 at the King of Trios event, Ricochet made his first challenge for the Young Lions Cup, but was unable to defeat Max Boyer for the title. Two days later, he lost to Claudio Castagnoli. On April 22, Ricochet took part in the semi-finals of the first-ever Raid of Oladers tournament, where he lost in a fatal four-way elimination match involving Retail Dragon, Pac, and longtime rival Chuck Taylor, the latter of whom would go on to win the tournament. 
On June 23, Ricochet won his first round match of the fifth Young Lions Cup tournament after he defeated Christian Haim. Later on in the day, Ricochet won a six-way elimination match in the semi-finals to advance to the finals. The next day, Ricochet lost to Chuck Taylor for the vacant Young Lions Cup. On August 18 at the event Here Come the International Invaders, Ricochet faced and lost to Taylor in a Young Lions Cup vs career match, resulting in Ricochet being forced to leave Shakara. On October 27 at New Star Navigation, Ricochet, sporting a new haircut, new attire and a wrestling mask, returned to Shakara under the ring name Helios, where he finally defeated Taylor for the Young Lions Cup. However, Taylor disputed Helios win by claiming that Helios was actually Ricochet in disguise. Despite Taylor's claims, Helios win was still ruled as valid and was thus still the official new champion. On November 16 at Battle of Who Could Care Less, Helios retained his Young Lions Cup title after defeating Hydra. The following day at the Sordid Perils of Everyday Existence, Helios again retained his title, this time against Fire Ant. The future is now, 2008-2010. On February 29, 2008, Helios teamed with Incoherence, Hello Wicked and Delirious, and the three became the Golden Trio in order to participate in the 2008 King of Trios tournament. After receiving a bye in the first round, the Golden Trio defeated Team IPW UK, Martin Stone, Terry Frazier and Sha Samuels, and the Fabulous Three, Larry Sweeney, Mitch Ryder and Shane Hawk, in the second and quarter final rounds, respectively, before losing to the bookout in the semi-finals. On April 19 at Deuces Wild, Helios successfully retained the Young Lions Cup against Lince Dorado. At Grit and Glory on May 15, Helios advanced to the finals of the Raid of Oladers tournament but ultimately lost to Incognito. On June 15, Helios lost his Young Lions Cup after Fire Ant defeated Ven Gerard in the finals of the sixth Young Lions Cup tournament. On September 6, Helios teamed up with Tim Dunst to take part in the first ever Lalateria Lettel tournament, where they lost to Icarus and Ultimo Breakfast in the first round. On November 11 at Cybernetico Begins, Helios was a part of Team Equinox, Equinox, Fire Ant, Soldier Ant, Worker Ant, Hydra, Tim Donst, and Mike Quackenbush, as they defeated Team Ven Gerard, Gerard, Stigma, Lince Dorado, Ultramantis Black, Crossbones, Amasis, Ophidian, and Eddie Kingston, in a 16-man elimination tag team match. At face with a view on December 12, Helios formed the future is now with Equinox and Lince Dorado and they defeated the Unstable, Ven Gerard, Colin Delaney, and Stigma. On January 1, 2009, the future is now, Helios and Dorado, lost their first match together against Team FIST, Icarus, Gran Akuma. At the 2009 King of Trios tournament, the future is now defeated Team DDT, Kota Ibushi, Kudo, and Michael Nakazawa, and the Osirian Portal, Amasis, Ophidian, and Escorpion Egypso in the first and quarter-final rounds, respectively, before losing to Team FIST, Icarus, Gran Akuma, and Chuck Taylor, in the semi-finals. Following the tournament, the future is now then began a feud with the Osirian Portal, resulting in Helios defeating a Scorpion Egypso in a singles match at Behind the Eight Ball on April 25 and the future is now defeating the Osirian Portal at the Bobaliographon event the following day. On the first show of 2010, Lince Dorado turned on Equinox and left the future is now to join the new heel stable Bruder Scaft de Cruzes, BDK. In May 2010, during the Anniversario weekend, Helios and Equinox first defeated Dorado and his BDK teammate Tim Dunst in a tag team match and then won a four-team elimination match to earn the three points needed in order to challenge for the Campion Eidos de Pereges. Helios and Equinox received their title shot on June 27 at Faded Scars and Lines, but were defeated by the defending champions BDK, Ares and Claudio Castagnoli, in two straight falls, after a pre-match assault. The future is now came to its end on September 19, 2010, when Olsen left the stable to reform his old tag team with Colin Delaney. 
This event also marked Helios' final appearance for Shakara as he began working regularly for both Dragon Gate and Dragon Gate USA. Evolve and Dragon Gate USA, 2010-2017 On January 16, 2010, Ricochet would make his debut for Evolve at the company's debut show Evolve 1, Ibushi vs Richards in a winning effort against Eric Cannon. However Ricochet would lose at the next event on March 13, 210 at Evolve 2, Hero vs Hidaka to Chuck Taylor and again via Countout on May 1, 2010 at Evolve 3, Rise or Fall to Johnny Gargano. After being defeated by Drake Younger in a four-way match on July 23, Ricochet ended his losing streak on September 11th, by defeating Kyle O'Reilly. On July 24, 2010, Ricochet made his debut for Dragon Gate USA at Enter the Dragon 2010, being defeated by Chuck Taylor in a four-way match, which also included Eric Cannon and Adam Cole. At the following event on September 25, Ricochet teamed with Sima to defeat Speed Muscle, Masato Yoshino and Naraki Doi, in a tag team match. After the match Sima gave Ricochet a spot in his Warriors International Stable. The following day Ricochet defeated Gran Akuma in a singles match. On October 29 at Dragon Gate USA's first live pay-per-view, Bushido, Code of the Warrior, Ricochet wrestled in a four-way match, which was won by Chuck Taylor and also included Eric Cannon and Johnny Gargano. At the following day's tapings of Freedom Fight 2010, Ricochet teamed with his Warriors international stablemate Genki Horiguchi and Austin Aries in a six-man tag team match where they were defeated by Ronan, Chuck Taylor, Johnny Gargano, and Rich Swan. When Dragon Gate USA returned on January 29, 2011, Ricochet now represented heel stable Blood Warriors and teamed with new stablemate Naraki Doi in the tournament to determine the first ever Open the United Gate Champions. In their first tournament match, Ricochet and Doi were defeated by Ronan representatives Chuck Taylor and Johnny Gargano. The following day Ricochet and Doi were defeated in the main event of the evening by the World 1 team of Masato Yoshino and Pac. On April 2 at Mercury Rising 2011, Ricochet, Sima and Naraki Doi defeated Ronan, Chuck Taylor, Johnny Gargano and Rich Swan in the main event six-man tag team match. During the match Ricochet suffered an ankle injury, which forced him out of the following day's match for the Open the United Gate Championship. On September 11 at Way of the Ron in 2011, Ricochet and Sima defeated Masato Yoshino and Pac to win the Open the United Gate Championship in a match where Ricochet's and Sima's Open the Twin Gate Championship was also on the line. After the merger of Evolve and Dragon Gate USA, Ricochet took part in the final official professional wrestling match in the Asylum Arena, when he unsuccessfully challenged Johnny Gargano for the Open the Freedom Gate Championship at an Evolve event on January 14, 2012. On March 30, Ricochet and Sima were forced to vacate the Open the United Gate Championship, after Sima was sidelined with a neck injury. In the main event of the evening, Ricochet teamed with Masato Yoshino to defeat Chuck Taylor and Johnny Gargano and regain the Open the United Gate Championship. On June 21, Ricochet and Yoshino were stripped of the title due to Yoshino being unable to appear at the following month's Dragon Gate USA events. On July 29, Ricochet teamed with Rich Swan in a match to determine the new Open the United Gate champions. They were, however, defeated in the match by Sima and A.R. Fox. On November 2 at Fearless 2012, Ricochet was defeated by Fox in a respect match and, as a result, was forced to tell his opponent that he respected him. Two days later at Freedom Fight 2012, Ricochet unsuccessfully challenged Johnny Gargano for the Open the Freedom Gate Championship in a four-way elimination match, which also included Akira Tozawa and A.R. Fox. On April 4, 2014, Ricochet defeated Gargano to win the Open the Freedom Gate Championship. On November 16, 2014, during Dragon Gate USA's parent company Wumlive's tour of China, Ricochet lost the title back to Gargano. Pro Wrestling Guerrilla, 2010-2018 On September 5, 2010, Ricochet made his debut for Southern California promotion Pro Wrestling Guerrilla, 
losing to Claudio Castagnoli in the first round of the 2010 Battle of Los Angeles, in what was called a star-making performance. The following day Ricochet participated in a six-man tag team match, where he, Johnny Goodtime and Rocky Romero were defeated by Brian Cage, Chuck Taylor and Ryan Taylor, when Ricochet was pinned by his old rival, Chuck Taylor. At the following event on October 9th, Ricochet picked up a major victory over PWG World Tag Team Champion Elgin Rico. Ricochet returned to PWG on April 9, 2011, when he filled in for Paul London, who was unable to appear at the event, and teamed with Elgin Rico in a match, where they lost their PWG World Tag Team Championship to the Young Bucks, Matt and Nick Jackson. Even though Elgin Rico blamed Ricochet for the loss, the two teamed up once again on May 27, during the first night of All-Star Weekend 8, when they were defeated by the Nightmare Violence Connection, Akira Tozawa and Kevin Stain. Ricochet returned to PWG on January 29, 2012, teaming with Sima in a match, where they were defeated by the Rock NES Monsters, Johnny Goodtime and Johnny Yuma. Ricochet made another return to PWG on May 25th, losing to Elgin Rico in a grudge match main event. On September 1st, Ricochet entered the 2012 Battle of Los Angeles, defeating PWG World Champion Kevin Stain in his first round match, following a distraction from his rival Brian Cage. The following day, Ricochet defeated Roderick Strong in the quarterfinals, before being eliminated by Michael Elgin in the semifinals of the tournament. On October 27, Ricochet unsuccessfully challenged Kevin Stain for the PWG World Championship in a three-way match, which also included Michael Elgin. On January 12, 2013, Ricochet teamed up with Rich Swan for the 2013 Dynamite Duumvirate Tag Team Title Tournament. The team, dubbed the Inner City Machine Guns, was eliminated in their first round match by the Young Bucks. On August 9 at PWG's 10th anniversary event, the Inner City Machine Guns unsuccessfully challenged the Young Bucks for the PWG World Tag Team Championship in a three-way ladder match, which also included the Dojo Brothers, Eddie Edwards and Roderick Strong. On January 31, 2014, the Inner City Machine Guns made it to the finals of the 2014 Dynamite Duumvirate Tag Team Title Tournament, before losing to the best friends, Chuck Taylor and Trent. On August 31, Ricochet defeated Johnny Gargano and Roderick Strong in the finals to win the 2014 Battle of Los Angeles. As a result, Ricochet was granted a shot at the PWG World Championship, but was defeated by the defending champion, Kyle O'Reilly on December 12. On September 3, 2017, Ricochet defeated Jeff Cobb and Keith Lee in the finals to win the 2017 Battle of Los Angeles, becoming the first two-time winner of the tournament. On October 21, Ricochet defeated Chuck Taylor to win the PWG World Championship for the first time. At PWG Mystery Vortex V, Ricochet lost the PWG World Championship back to Taylor in a Guerrilla Warfare match. Dragon Gate, 2010-2015-2017 Through his work in Dragon Gate USA, Ricochet got to make his first tour of Japan with its parent promotion Dragon Gate, making his debut on December 10, 2010, in Toyama, where he teamed with his Warriors stablemate Sima and Masaaki Mochizuki in a six-tag team match where they defeated Gamma, KZY, and Naraki Doi. Ricochet's first tour of Japan ended on December 26, when he, Sima and Dragon Kid defeated Naoki Tanisaki, Takia Sugawara, and Yasushi Kanda in Fukuoka at Final Gate 2010 to win the Dragon Gate Open the Triangle Gate Championship. Ricochet turned heel on January 14, 2011, along with the rest of Warriors, attacking Masato Yoshino in World 1 and joining forces with Naraki Doi's group. On January 18 the new group was named Blood Warriors. On February 10 Sima, Naraki Doi and Gamma defeated World 1 representatives Masato Yoshino, BXB Hulk and Susumu Yokosuka in a six-man tag team match and as a result, Pac was forced to leave World 1 and join Blood Warriors. However, Ricochet blocked the move as he felt that he, 
not pack, was the top high flyer in the world and instead challenged him to a match for his Open the Brave Gate Championship. The title match between Pack and Ricochet took place on March 1 and ended with Pack retaining his title. On May 15, the rest of Blood Warriors turned on Dragon Kid and kicked him out of the group, despite the fact that he still held the Open the Triangle Gate Championship with Ricochet and Sima. As a result, the title was declared vacant. On July 17, Ricochet and Sima defeated Dragon Kid and Pack of rival group Junction 3 to win the Open the Twin Gate Championship. On November 19, Ricochet defeated Pack for the Open the Brave Gate Championship. After their third successful defense of the Open the Twin Gate Championship on November 30, Ricochet and Sima vacated the title in order for Ricochet to concentrate on defending the Open the Brave Gate Championship and Sima to concentrate on chasing the Open the Dream Gate Championship. On January 19, 2012, Akira Tozawa took over the leadership of Blood Warriors, kicking Sima out of the group. After Ricochet continued to team with Sima in Dragon Gate USA, it was announced on February 9, that he was also kicked out of Blood Warriors. On March 4, Ricochet and Sima decided to mutually split up, with Ricochet joining Masato Yoshino's and Naraki Doi's New World 1 International Stable and Sima reviving the veteran gun. On May 6, Ricochet lost the Open the Brave Gate Championship to Dragon Kid in his fourth defense. On May 25, 2013, Ricochet defeated Shingo Takagi in the finals to win the 2013 King of Gate Tournament. As a result, Ricochet earned a shot at the Open the Dream Gate Championship, but was defeated in the title match on June 16 by Sima. On July 21, Ricochet and Naraki Doi defeated Akira Tozawa and BXB Hulk for the Open the Twin Gate Championship. They lost the title to Dragon Kid and Kness on August 30. On September 12, Doi turned on Masato Yoshino, signaling the end of World 1 International. Ricochet quickly found a new alliance forming Monster Express with Yoshino, Akira Tozawa, Shachi Hoko Boy, Shingo Takaji, and Ua Nation. On March 2, 2014, Ricochet defeated Monster Express stablemate Masato Yoshino for the Open the Dream Gate Championship, becoming the first Gaijin to hold the title. Ricochet made his first successful title defense just four days later against another stablemate, Ua Nation. After a two-month reign, Ricochet lost the Open the Dream Gate Championship to Yamato in his second defense on May 5. Ricochet returned to Dragon Gate during the summer of 2015. On July 20, he and Matsudal unsuccessfully challenged Naraki Doi and Yamato for the Open the Twin Gate Championship. Ricochet returned to Dragon Gate two years later on November 3, 2017, defeating Ida. He wrestled his Dragon Gate farewell match five days later. New Japan Pro Wrestling, 2013-2017 On May 3, 2013, New Japan Pro Wrestling announced Ricochet as a participant in the 2013 Best of the Super Juniors Tournament. He made his debut for the promotion on May 22, teaming with Kenny Omega in a tag team match, where they defeated Suzuki Gun, Teiki and Taka Michinoku. In the round-robin portion of the tournament, which ran from May 24 to June 6, Ricochet managed to win five out of his eight matches with a loss against Alex Shelley on June 6, costing him a spot in the semifinals. Ricochet returned to take part in the 2014 Best of the Super Juniors Tournament on May 30, this time advancing to the semifinals, after finishing second in his block with a record of five wins and two losses. On June 8, Ricochet first defeated Ryusuke Taguchi in the semifinals and then Kushida in the finals to win the 2014 Best of the Super Juniors and become the number one contender to the IWGP Junior Heavyweight Championship. With his win, Ricochet became the youngest person to win the tournament and the second American to do so. On June 21 at Dominion 6.21, Ricochet unsuccessfully challenged Kota Ibushi for the IWGP Junior Heavyweight Championship. On July 3, 2015, Ricochet made a surprise return to NJPW, challenging the winner of the IWGP Junior Heavyweight Championship match between Kenny Omega and Kushida, set to take place two days later, to a title match. 
Ricochet received his title match on August 16, but was defeated by Kushida. Ricochet returned to NJPW on October 24, when he and Matsudal entered the 2015 Super Junior Tag Tournament, defeating Time Splitters, Alex Shelley and Kushida, in their first round match. On November 1, Ricochet and Siddle defeated the Young Bucks to advance to the finals of the tournament. On November 7 at Power Struggle, Ricochet and Siddle defeated Rapanji Vice, Beretta and Rocky Romero, in the finals to win the 2015 Super Junior Tag Tournament. On January 4, 2016, at Wrestle Kingdom 10 in Tokyo Dome, Ricochet and Siddle took part in a four-way match for the IWGP Junior Heavyweight Tag Team Championship but were defeated by the Young Bucks. On February 11 at the New Beginning in Osaka, Ricochet and Siddle defeated the Young Bucks and Redragon, Bobby Fish and Kyle O'Reilly, in a three-way match to become the new IWGP Junior Heavyweight Tag Team Champions. They lost the title to Rapanji Vice on April 10 at Invasion Attack 2016, before regaining the title on May 3 at Wrestling Dantaku 2016. Later in the month, Ricochet entered the 2016 Best of the Super Juniors Tournament. On May 27, Ricochet faced Will Osprey I in the tournament in a match, which received widespread attention in the professional wrestling world. While some like William Regal praised the two, others criticized the match with the most notable criticism coming from Vader, who compared the match to a gymnastics routine. Ricochet finished the tournament with a record of four wins and three losses, failing to advance to the finals due to losing to Chase Owens in his final round-robin match. On June 19 at Dominion 6.19 in Osaka Joe Hall, Ricochet and Siddle lost the IWGP Junior Heavyweight Tag Team Championship to the Young Bucks in a four-way elimination match, also involving Redragon and Rapanji Vice. On July 3, Ricochet and Siddle teamed up with Satoshi Kojima to defeat the Elite, Kenny Omega and the Young Bucks for the Never Open Weight Six-Man Tag Team Championship. They were stripped of the title on September 25 due to Siddle failing to make a scheduled title defense at Destruction in Kobe because of travel issues. That same day, Ricochet and Kojima, now teaming with David Finlay, defeated Adam Cole and the Young Bucks to regain the vacant title. This led to a match on October 10 at King of Pro Wrestling, where Ricochet and Finlay unsuccessfully challenged the Young Bucks for the IWGP Junior Heavyweight Tag Team Championship. Ricochet, Finlay and Kojima lost the Never Open Weight Six Man Tag Team Championship to Los Ingo Burnables to Japan, Bushi, Evil, and Sonata, in a four team gauntlet match at Wrestle Kingdom 11 in Tokyo Dome on January 4, 2017. Afterwards, Ricochet joined the Taguchi Japan stable as part of which he, Ryosuke Taguchi and Hiroshi Tanahashi defeated Los Ingo Burnables to Japan on April 4 to win the Never Open Weight Six Man Tag Team Championship. On April 29, Ricochet unsuccessfully challenged Hiromu Takahashi for the IWGP Junior Heavyweight Championship. On May 3 at Wrestling Dantaku 2017, Ricochet, Tanahashi and Taguchi lost the Never Open Weight Six Man Tag Team Championship back to LIJ. Ricochet then entered the 2017 Best of the Super Juniors Tournament, where, despite a win over reigning IWGP Junior Heavyweight Champion Hiromu Takahashi, he failed to advance to the finals with a record of four wins and three losses. Ricochet then formed a new tag team named Funky Future with Ryosuke Taguchi under the banner of Taguchi Japan. On August 13, the two defeated the Young Bucks to win the IWGP Junior Heavyweight Tag Team Championship. They lost the title to Rapanji 3K, Sho and Yo, on October 9 at King of Pro Wrestling. Following the match, Ricochet took responsibility for the loss and thanked both NJPW and Taguchi Japan. His mannerisms were interpreted as meaning he had wrestled his final NJPW match. On November 8, Ricochet confirmed he had wrestled his final match in Japan. Lucha Underground, 2014-2016 In September 2014, it was reported that Mann had signed with the El Rey Network's new television series, Lucha Underground. He assumed a masked character by the ring name of Prince Puma. He was given a fictional Latino background and managed by Conan, 
with him doing most of the talking on his behalf. Puma wrestled in the main event of the debut episode of Lucha Underground on October 29, losing to Johnny Mundo. On the January 7, 2015, episode, taped October 5, 2014, Puma defeated 19 other wrestlers to win the Aztec Warfare Battle Royal and become the inaugural Lucha Underground Champion. Puma made his first televised defense of the Lucha Underground Championship on the January 14, 2015, episode of Lucha Underground against Phoenix. Puma then entered a rivalry with Cage, which led to a title match between the two on the March 25th episode, where Puma retained his title. On April 19 at Ultima Lucha, Lucha Underground Season 1 finale, Puma lost the Lucha Underground Championship to Mil Muertz. After failing to regain the title, he formed a team with El Dragon Azteca Jr. and Rey Mysterio Jr. and entered a tournament for the trio's championship. After defeating the team which consisted of Taya and two of Puma's old adversaries Cage, and Johnny Mundo, in a qualifying match, they captured the titles last eliminating Phoenix, PJ Black, and Jack Evans in the finals. Mann had originally signed a contract with Lucha Underground, which gave him an out following the conclusion of the program's third season. With WWE reportedly looking to sign him, Lucha Underground offered Mann a new contract, which would have allowed him to continue working NJPW in the indies and would have made him one of the highest paid non-WWE talents in the business. Mann, however, decided to opt out of his contract. On June 26, 2016, at the third season concluding Ultima Lucha Trace, Prince Puma challenged Johnny Mundo for the Lucha Underground Championship in a match, where he put his Lucha Underground career on the line. Though Puma won the match and the title, he was immediately afterwards challenged by Gift of the Gods champion Pentagon Dark, with Dario Cueto stating that the loser of the match would be forced to retire. Pentagon won the match and the Lucha Underground Championship with help from Vampiro, ending Prince Puma's Lucha Underground career. Though Man's Lucha Underground contract had expired, he could not appear on television for another promotion until Season 3 had been aired in its entirety. Man later commented on his status, stating that an underground fighting company holding back was the reason he had not yet been signed by a major promotion. The final episode of the third season aired on October 18, 2017, 16 months after being taped. WWE NXT, 2018-2019 On January 16, 2018, WWE announced on their website that Ricochet had signed a contract with the company and would be reporting to the WWE Performance Center. On January 27 at NXT TakeOver, Philadelphia, Ricochet, billed as his real name, was shown sitting in the audience. Ricochet made his NXT debut at a taping in Atlanta, Georgia, beating Fabian Eichner. Ricochet competed in a six-man ladder match for the brand new NXT North American Championship at NXT TakeOver, New Orleans, which was eventually won by Adam Cole. On the May 9 episode of NXT, Ricochet made his intentions clear to pursuing the NXT Championship, but found himself challenged by the Velveteen Dream. They proceeded to have a match later in the show, but it was ruled a no contest when both men were attacked by Lars Sullivan. At NXT TakeOver, Chicago 2, Ricochet defeated Velveteen Dream. Ricochet then feuded with Adam Cole and the Undisputed Era, over Cole's NXT North American Championship. At NXT TakeOver, Brooklyn 4, Ricochet defeated Cole for the title, his first championship with WWE. At NXT TakeOver, War Games, Ricochet, along with the team of Pete Dunne and the War Raiders, defeated the Undisputed Era in War Games. Ricochet successfully defended his North American title against Tyler Breeze on NXT December 12, 2018. At NXT TakeOver, Phoenix, Ricochet lost the NXT North American Championship to Johnny Gargano, ending his reign at 161 days. United States Champion, 2019 Present On the February 18, 2019 episode of Raw, Ricochet made his main roster debut, 
teamed with Intercontinental Champion Finn Balor to defeat Bobby Lashley and Elio Rush. On the following night, Ricochet also appeared at SmackDown, defeating Eric Young. Over the next few weeks, Ricochet formed a tag team with Aleister Black and won the 2019 Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic on NXT, while receiving a Raw Tag Team Championship match at Fastlane that featured The Revival and Bobby Roode and Chad Gable, but failed to win. The team of Ricochet and Black also competed F.